Hey guys, it's Addison. Um, so, I just wanted to throw another update at you. Um, I told my mom yesterday, and she took it rather well, as I said, I think, in my last video. Um, she sent me an email later that night questioning everything. Um, and it was like, you, do you really know these people? Do you really trust these people? You know, what are you going to do if you get out there and they're not who you thought they were and everything falls apart and I'm not going to be there for you? Blah, 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 blah. Are you ready for this? And I was like, Mom, I trust these people. Like, I called her. I didn't want to send an email back. It was like 8.30. And I called her and I was like, Mom, like, this is ridiculous. I know that you're worried, but, I mean, I trust these people with my life. Like, I do. And nothing that you can say is really going to make me change my mind on this one because I need to be somewhere that I can live. I can't live here. I just can't. So that was that. And she sounded upset, but she sounded resigned to the fact that I was going to get my way. And um, so then, you know, hung up, you know, I love you, hung up and um, went back to bed. Got up a little bit later and she sent me another email because I told her if she had any more questions, send me an email, I'd get back to her. So she sent me another email. She said, you know, since Portland has all of these great queer resources, does that mean that you're going to actually fill your promise that you made me and, you know, not transition until you're 25? And I was like, Mom, first of all, this promise, she keeps referring to this promise in, in various things. And the thing is, is that she took me saying that I wasn't going to do surgery until I was 25 to mean that I wasn't going to do anything permanent until I was 25. And hormones are kinda half permanent. And so, um, I've been really pissed off about this because I'm getting on hormones before I'm 25. I'm gonna be 21 in August. I'm not waiting four more years for hormones. Fuck that. And so, I sent her back an email that was like, Mom, you misunderstood this. I keep telling you you misunderstood this, but you keep saying it. And so I finally set her straight on it. And I was like, look, I know your timeline's different from mine, but I have been waiting. Because she, she said at the end that doing it the right way, which is supposed to take years from what I've read and from what I've heard from other people, and it's like, yeah, well, that's great for you, um, but I'm not waiting years. I mean, I have waited years. I mean, I've been in therapy for over a year now, and I was questioning probably for at least a year or two before that. I mean, I've always been kind of iffy about my gender. Um, I mean, on some level or another. I always thought I failed at being a girl, at the least, you know? So, I set her straight on that. I was like, look, you've, you've only known about this for a short time, but I have been waiting years. I have been waiting years. And so, um, I was expecting her to push back. Because that's what my mom does, she pushes back. Um, but I got an email this morning when I woke up that was like, well... It sounds like you're going to fulfill my promise to me then because you won't do anything permanent until you're 25 and hormones aren't, aren't, aren't mostly permanent, right? Or something like that. And I was just like, really? Like, you, you just said that? You just, you said that I could, you just told me that I can do hormones? Like, it's amazing. This week just keeps getting better and it's only Wednesday. <laughs> Um, finally having a good week for once. And, um... <sighs> so, um... I'm gonna think about it, and I'm not making any decisions until I get out there. But... I'm gonna wait until... I graduate. And then... Maybe not even that long, but... I'm gonna try and wait until I graduate to start hormones. And, um, once I graduate, I'm going to start on cream and then go to shots at some point. But I want to start on cream first just to get my body used to, um, having tea in its system. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, like, it, I'm just, I'm still, in, I'm still totally shell-shocked about all this. Um, that it, it's gone as well as it has, and my mom hasn't freaked out as much as I expected her to. So, I'm really, really happy. I'm so happy right now. And, um, so I just want to throw another update your way and tell you how that went and how my mom is suddenly coming around. Um, but uh, I hope you all are having a good week and I'll talk to you later.